Hi, my name is Sarah Donoghue and welcome to Project Fitness TV. As you can see, today we're in the kitchen. I'm not really set up for filming in the kitchen, but I thought I'd better give it a go because in the last episode, I touched on manageable dieting. And for something to be manageable, it has to be sustainable. And for it to be sustainable, it needs to be really nice and really healthy. And the fact you enjoy it, and if you've got a family, the family enjoy it as well. I also touched on that a lot of families are still eating a lot of fast food, up to six and seven times a week. And they could be eating that for any, any one of a number of reasons. They haven't got time to cook. The kids don't like homemade food. They want fast food, so it's easier just to give them fast food. It's because you just haven't got the time or the energy to cook. After you finish work, it's just so much easier if you just get fast food in. And you do get a lot of people that say that making homemade healthy food is really expensive. So they don't make homemade food because it's expensive. So I wanted to show you that if you make a chili, which is what we're gonna to make today, not only is it incredibly inexpensive and much cheaper than any fast food that you could go and buy, such as um, a pizza or a McDonald's, but it's inexpensive, it's really tasty, it's low on calories and carbs and fat, and it's high in protein, and it's just really delicious. And it's something you can make so easily and so quickly at home. So we're gonna start off here. I've got 400 grams of lean mince. Now that can be any lean, so it can be pork, lamb, beef, it's up to you, but lean, I've got this lean. 400 grams, so I'm gonna be making this for four people. And remember, when you serve chili, it's up to you how you serve it. So you can serve it on its own, in a bowl, or you can add it to rice or a pit of bread. But remember, once you add things, you're adding calories as well, so do remember that. Be very careful on your portion size of things like rice. Um, the beans that go with it, you can either use red kidney beans or you can use pinto beans. It doesn't matter which one. Many people use red kidney beans because they say that the flavour is held better in them. I don't know. I think they're both gorgeous. Doesn't matter to me. On top of that, I have got chopped tomatoes. Now, chopped tomatoes are great. So all this together, including a onion. So again, you're going to chop the onion as well. Now, as well as this, you could do with some spices. Now, don't think, oh, I don't want to buy spices. It's such a waste of money, I'll never use them. If you have spices, I usually have them in the jars. And if you get the jars, honestly, they'll they last you for, you could have some of them one and a half to two years, really. That's how long they last. So buy spices, they're inexpensive anyway. But I'll always use uh, a chili powder. You can use hot chili powder or mild chili powder. It depends what the family likes and what you like. I always use turmeric and cumin. And the best discovery ever is this chipotle. You know that really smoky flavor that you get from Mexican food? It's this, it's absolutely delicious. Now you only need a small amount of this. The more you put in the actual, the hotter it gets. So if you put a small amount, you still getting that beautiful smoky flavor, but without all the heat. So just be aware how much you put in, but that is absolutely delicious. It's also up to you if you put anything else in, it is your choice. It's your chili, it's your choice. And again, these aren't really, these don't really count as calories, do they? So peppers, you might wanna put hot, pe hot peppers in. It depends again if you can handle hot food or not, or your family can but you don't need to. Garlic, I love garlic, some people don't like it. So you can put as much or as little as you want in. So you can have this as basic as you want or bung anything in. You can even bung in mushrooms. You wouldn't norm normally find them in a chili, but who cares? Bung them in, it doesn't matter. Now also, with things like this, with the ingredients, so kind of 400 grams of each, you don't need to be precise. So if you can only buy mince in the supermarket in a 250 gram packet, get two so it's 500. Or you only buy it in a 300 gram, 350, four, five, 550. It doesn't matter. You don't need to be accurate when you're mixing this because you're still gonna get the most beautiful flavors. So don't worry about getting the scales out, splitting the meat down. Well, what am I gonna do with the other meat? Just bang it all in because you will love it. So the first thing we are going to do is actually get this meat and we're going to brown it. 
So I'm just going to take a break and I'm going to quickly brown this and I'm going to get back to you with what we do after that. So let's just get that cooked first. Okay, so as the meat is browning here, I'm going to just start adding a little bit of the cumin. Again, I don't really measure this. It's not really important because it's all to taste. Put some of that in as well. Give it a nice stir. Now, I have already seasoned it with black pepper and salt. So salt and pepper, I have already done that. Now, on top of that, I am going to put in a little touch of chipotle. I will add some more of this a little bit later on. Just trying to get into the packet here because I've sealed this again. There. So I'm going to add just a little bit of that. There we go. Right, and as you can see, all that lovely flavour is in there. And now, in go the tomatoes. So that's a can of tomatoes, a tin of tomatoes. Mix that all together. I'm also in there going to add just a little bit of water. So if it looks like it needs a little bit of water, put that water in. Now I'm going to put in the onions. A lot of people say soften these off first, you know, just give them a quick fry first, but you don't really need to. They're going in here, so they're going to soften off themselves. So it's just put them in here. It's a quicker way of doing it. And I've been making this for maybe, oh, I don't know, maybe 20 or 30 years. And I think you just get used to it after a time of putting everything in together because I've done it where I put one thing in and then I put another and then, but, and I've also done it where I just throw everything in at the same time. And to be honest, it, it doesn't make any difference with the taste. And I'm going to add the beans as well, the kidney beans. I'm going to get those in there. And I'm going to add a little bit more water. So I'm going to give that a really good stir. Now this, believe it or not, all the ingredients that I've put in here, everything, so not the seasonings because those are excess and remember those you'll keep for um, a year or two years but so everything the main ingredients here were no more than six euros they were actually five euros 80 so five euros 80 so in reality each serving of this and there's four servings is one euro 50 just so it's just 150 per serving and this will be delicious and each serving has around 250 calories, eight grams of fat, 18 grams of carbohydrates, and 27 grams of protein. Now, what I do with this, I let this boil for a little bit, simmer, I should say. I shouldn't say boil, I should say simmer. Um, so I'm just going to leave that in there. I'm just going to let all the juices come out. So that will be in there, just simmering away. And then I'm going to come back to this. My, my husband has a way of cheating on this. If you don't really want to buy all the, uh, buy the spices, so the, the turmeric and the cumin and things like that, he cheats. He buys these. So let me just grab these. So you can buy these from any supermarket, Old El Paso do them, there's another brand here, Zanoi, there's another brand here, Banderos. So all these are, are the, are the, the flavours for the Mexican food. So this is taco spice mix, this is fajita seasoning mix, 
this is for burritos. Now, all these flavors are absolutely beautiful, so it doesn't matter which one you use. You could use it burrito to make burritos, fajitas to make fajitas, that's absolutely fine. Or you could open a packet and just put it inside there because that really makes a flavor wonderfully Mexican and gorgeous. So it's up to you. You can add those spices in or you can cheat and buy one of these. Old El Paso is all over the world. So you can cheat, buy one of these and boom, you've got all your flavors straight there in that packet. And I think this packet could be around one euro 40. If you go for one of the others like Banderas or Zanu, they're exactly the same, but they are half the price of the old El Paso. Okay? Right, so we're just gonna let that settle and simmer for a while. So I usually just kind of leave that on the stove. In reality, I can leave it up to 40 minutes. But as soon as the, as soon as the onions are soft, you could eat it straight away. But I always think it's so much nicer if you just leave that a while to cook. So just while I've been off camera there, I did chop some garlic and some of the uh, hot chilies earlier. Not everyone will do that. It's not for everyone's taste. And all I do is just fry them lightly just to release the flavor. That's enough. Um, and this has only been on the stove five minutes, but what I'll do is I will just bang them in there like that. Turn that off. Give those a quick stir in. And I'm just going to leave that. Again, you only need to leave it for as long as the onions soften off, but soften off. But I like to leave it for a little bit longer to really release the flavours in that. Whilst the chili is cooking, what I thought I'd show you is something else I spoke about in one of the last episodes. It was that you can buy actual fajita kits and uh, the tortillas in supermarkets which make life very very easy so first i need to get in the box but again this is old el paso and you don't have to go for old el paso you can go for the cheaper makes that's not a problem so what you actually get in these are all this so you're getting the salsa and you're getting the seasoning and the seasoning is no different than these so you're getting the seasoning as well and then you're getting these lovely flatbreads. Now, with those, what you actually do is on the back, it tells you that with this, you need 500 grams of chicken, you need a lettuce, you need an onion, and you need a red pepper. And all it is, again, is bung everything in a pan. Uh, well, obviously not the lettuce. Bung everything in a pan, fry it up, and then add the seasoning and you can wrap it all in one of these and then the sprinkling on top you'd add a you'd add a sprinkling of the lettuce which is nice and you can also put things like guacamole in there and of course you've got your salsa you put that in there so there's all sorts of things you can do with these but they're great these kits and that's a fajita kit but again there's the tortillas as well and these come as tiny little baskets so these are lovely and it tells you how to make these on the back so it, it does tell you how to actually make these as well and this serves three to four people and in there again it's mincemeat and you'll have the seasoning that you put in there and on top you'll sprinkle a tiny bit of you'll put the salsa in a little bit of cheese on top a little bit of lettuce as well and again you can put guacamole on top so you can do anything it's your little basket you can do anything you want but they do lots of these kits at the supermarkets all different ones so you just need to choose so it's almost like um it, it's fast food but it's really healthy good fast food which is inexpensive and you know, it's fantastic so you really should try these really try these they're great the old el paso are fantastic so let's have a look at this so this is starting to look delicious already it, it really is and as i said this serves four people and the servings are really big it could actually probably serve six people so it is a really big serving and it's only 250 calories and again it's high on protein low in fat and low in carbs so you can't beat it do you really need to go to a fast food restaurant or get a pizza in when you can cook like this no you don't so mexican food can be very very healthy great 
thanks for watching and I, I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you take that on board as well and try something try the chili or try one of these old El Paso mixes the fajita build it yourself kit or the burritos because they really are fantastic they're lovely try them thanks for watching <laughs>